Itri is a great place to be, in part because we're here at NC State. What we do is we partner with academia and consulting to deliver high impact applied research and cutting edge technical service. And then we package that innovation and expertise in award winning training programs. And we impact the transportation workforce from work zone flaggers to airport executives. The research opportunities are definitely at the forefront of new technology and, and we're really pushing the boundaries. We have a lot of really bright, creative, young people working here with great ideas. I get to spend my time outside flying drones. We use uh, the video footage of highways and uh, the traffic on interstates to better inform the modeling, the simulations that we do uh, to provide traffic information and, and plan for, for new uh, intersections and new operations. I work mostly with our sensing instrumentation group. We are doing um, non-motorized uh, vehicle data collection, bicycles, pedestrians, um, getting counts, including directionality. And this can be really useful for municipalities and uh, metropolitan planning organizations. It gives them a better idea of how the trails are being used, how often, or how often they need to be maintained, um, and also better planning for future development of greenways and paths for pedestrians and bicyclists. One of the ways we conduct research is with a driving simulator. We have a motion base that raises up and it can move forward and backward and side to side to to accurately simulate driving in a car. What we're learning from this research is how drivers might interact with alternative intersection and um, interchange designs. So these alternative designs like median U-turns can be more safe for traffic. However, we wanna make sure that drivers know how to safely navigate these intersections. Um, so our goal here is to create a um, predictive model so that we can better recommend where to place these intersections. It's of course exciting for me to um, do research that contributes to safety and traffic in North Carolina. What we're trying to do here at ITRI is take those technology tools and bring them to bear in solving the problems but do it in a way that takes us to a future that's just and equitable and safe for all, for all people. The Mobility for All project was a USDOT funding opportunity that came about a few years ago. And it was a great opportunity to enable us to coordinate with Northeastern North Carolina Transit System and also work with the North Carolina Department of Transportation and the Department of Health and Human Services to implement a new technology that enables people to have um, lower access to personal vehicles or cannot drive to enable them to live a lifestyle that's more spontaneous. Um, currently, there's about two days notice that's required for them if they want to go out to lunch with a friend or go to a doctor, they need to call in two days ahead of time. But with the new technology that we're implementing, they'll be able to have a spontaneous trip. So they'll be able to have a real-time service come to their door, just like you would with most microtransit private solutions and it really creates freedom and opportunity for people that don't have it right now. Technical service, that's sort of our bridge between research and practice. That's where we take some innovation and niche expertise that maybe is not ready for the consulting sector to be involved in, and we can deliver that service right away. And then finally, training and education. Um, we need to we need to get these innovations and these new practices into the hands of the people uh, that need them. My name is Kate Davison. I'm the Assistant Director of NCLTAP, and NCLTAP stands for the North Carolina Local Technical Assistance Program. And what we do is we offer continuing education classes for the public works employees in North Carolina. We do a schedule of about 120 classes a year. Now we've introduced online classes as well. This is the sand, this is the silt in the middle, this is the clay on this side. Workforce development is a huge issue for public works departments right now. It's what they're talking about 
And what we offer is a way for them to outsource those training opportunities and also standardize it. My name is Lori Cahill and I'm the program manager for the Fundamental Engineering Principles courses here at ITRI. A lot of people find themselves in engineering technician roles where they have no background in engineering or highway construction. And so what we do is try to bring them up to speed on the engineering principles behind what they do in their day-to-day -day job. I'm really excited about ITRI's future. We have a vision of what the future can be and we also have a vision of how we as a team can collaborate internally and with partners across the spectrum to bring this vision to reality.